Hey, welcome to my channel. Uh, so I originally wanted to do a bunch of videos for a group of my buddies, but if you stumble along this channel, uh, let me explain to everybody what uh, what I'm hoping to do here. So myself and all my buddies, we're, we're big time gamers. Uh, we've been that way since uh, all through the 80s and 90s. Uh, one of those biggest moments was, was during the big console wars between uh, Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo. Now, now most of uh, my group of friends we all went and chose this bad boy right here, the Super Nintendo, which uh, still to this date is my favorite console of all time. I still collect for it. Uh, very passionate about this system. I have fond memories about it. Uh, I also remember during those console wars how the Sega Genesis would have commercials that would in insult the Super Nintendo, and I used to take it very personally. Uh, I don't know why. I guess we were all just younger and defended the product that we wanted the most. But uh, secretly, some of those games did look pretty darn good. But I never really got to experience it. I had some friends of friends who had a Sega Genesis. And, and I, I'm familiar with a couple of the games like Sonic uh, the Hedgehog, Shinobi, Golden Axe, um, Altered Beast. You know, like kind of the main titles I, I've played a bit of. But I never owned a Sega Genesis and I've never had any experiences with Sega Genesis. So I thought, man, I, with the 16-bit being my favorite era of all time, how have I never really gone back to experience the 16 bits that I never got to play? So I ran down to my local video game store here and uh, I picked myself up Sega Genesis. So the idea here is I'm going to go through and, and play some Sega Genesis games that I've never played before uh, or, or were familiar with and just kind of get to experience it for the first time. Now I know it's not going to be the same as if I had played it back back in the day, but I, but because of my love for the 16-bit era, I'm pretty sure I can still appreciate the games for what they are now and for what they were at that time. Um, what kind of inspired me to do this was two things. One, um, my buddy uh, in this group, he has a channel called Retro Gaming Fool, and on his channel, he actually is trying to beat, not sorry, not beat, play every single NES game. Uh, but each game he tries only has eight minutes to leave an impression on him. So this, the, those videos are called 8-Bit in 8 Minutes. So uh, I'll leave a link uh, to his channel below in this description. Check them out. I might even make a couple appearances there in some of the multiplayer games. And uh, the second inspiration, uh, big one, was reading a book called Console Wars by Blake Harris. And this kind of follows Ted Kalinske, the CEO of uh, Sega North America, during the time of the Genesis and the battle they had with the Super Nintendo. And it, it's quite an enlightening book. Uh, by the end of it, I was actually cheering for Sega. And uh, that kind of was an eye-opener to be like, man, there was a whole world there that I didn't get to experience. So I'm going to go through, play some games. I want you guys to tag along. Hopefully you have a good time uh, seeing some, some old games that either are ugh, terrible or maybe they're, they're hidden gems. Now, how I'm going to do it, I'm going to I'm going to kind of do them in yearly order. So starting in 1989 games, 1990 games, just so I don't pick games near the end of the life cycle when developers really knew how to use or sorry, know how to program for the for the console. We'll start right from the beginning and go through. Now, within that year, I'll pick randomly. Um, I'll, I'll hit up some hidden gems uh, based on kind of what I searched through the Internet. Uh, I'm going to hit up some top bestsellers uh, again based on what I find on the internet and one of the biggest things we're going to do is I'm just going to pull up some random pictures of Sega Genesis boxes and treat it as if I was going into a rental store way back in the day and trying the game literally based on the box art because sometimes that's all we had to go by uh, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So sit back, relax, come along on the journey with me as I'm feeling a bit nostalgic for the Sega Genesis. Okay, welcome to A Bit Nostalgic, and in this particular series, I am a bit nostalgic for the Sega Genesis. Uh, today's game, uh, I've never heard of it before. Picking it based solely on the box art, um, Forgotten Worlds. Uh, the box art reminds me of Contra, and I love Contra, so I figure, what the heck, let's, let's go with this one for today. So, Forgotten Worlds. Okay, here we go. Forgotten Worlds program, 1989. Options, auto fire. Yeah, damn. Turn that on. Assuming there's a sound test, satellite speed, 
game difficulty. We'll always keep the game difficulty at normal uh, when I first dive into it. We'll see how it goes from there. <clears throat> All right, Forgotten Worlds, boom, start. I gotta love that gritty Genesis sound. Oh. That reminds me of Power Blade. Did you find him? Don't worry, we'll finish him today. Oh, okay, that's the story. Oh, this is a shooter. Wow, this is not at all what I was expecting. Oh, oh, weird. It. Oh, okay, let me explain the controls here. This is really weird. A and C rotate the guns. So, A rotates it counterclockwise, C rotates it clockwise. So that's really weird. Oh. But I did not expect a shooter. Huh. I mean, I guess in a way I should have expected. Whoa, what just happened? A store? Uh, information. Oh, I got 3,100 bucks. Can we stand three shots? Sure, let's buy it. Ooh. And, But uh, I guess I kind of should have expected a, a shooter. Uh, Sega is notorious for like having more arcadey feeling type games. Oh, man. Health. I didn't see how much health I had to start, so I don't know if that's high or low. Are those healing me? Oh, I don't know what those are. I'm assuming you can't... Okay, so you can touch it. I mean, pretty straightforward, I guess. I'm assuming this is two players, because I didn't see an option for two players uh, on the start. But it looks like there's two main characters. The This turning mechanic, it's, it's different. I guess considering it's just holding the buttons, it's pretty smooth, like it moves at a good... <laughs> Dead. Whoa, one... one man? One life? Oh, man. Hold on here, let's let's try that again. One life? Whew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to skip through this massive story here. So I'm assuming those blue orbs are, are the money then, since they're not health. I didn't see that store the last time I was going through this, so I don't know what to look out for. I know the city was a little closer or more towards the foreground, like like how these buildings are coming out. I think it's somewhere around here. Like, you just hit it automatic? Oh! Or you wait for it to grow out of the ground. Just touch it? Yeah. Okay. Shoot in all directions at once. Let's try that one. And let's see what this information is about gear areas gas pipes will blow fire when you destroy it okay and yeah, we'll take that hit a lot more money this time hopefully that helps so it looks like any weapon upgrade you buy doesn't upgrade the weapon you're holding but whatever that little uh, devices that you have floating around you i mean it's not bad i'm thinking like that one life that could uh, prove to be difficult, but uh, you know, I gotta say, it controls pretty darn well. Oh, I got hit, lost my armor. What am I killing here? Am I killing that thing in the middle? It doesn't show any boss health or anything. A little bit of slowdown there, which is fine. That's common when so much shit's happening on the screen at one time. Yeah, okay, good. Now, hopefully you get more life when you go into this second level. It's kind of weird. This is like a, a shooter. Like, but you're like a flying guy. It doesn't even explain how he's flying. Like, he doesn't have a jetpack on or anything like that. Like, is this device, because it's in his proximity, keeping him afloat? Eh. 25,000, okay. You should be able to buy a little bit more. Okay, so let's start with these tracking missiles. What's this? Fire power increases. Sure. So when it says Forgotten Worlds, like, are, are we on Earth and this is like it all devastated after an alien invasion, or are we on somebody else's planet <laughs> and annihilating them? Like, nobody, everybody who flies, nobody has, like, 
jetpacks or anything. Like, why, why does everybody have the ability to fly? Yeah, because I'm pressing the B button, so I'm assuming the B button is the, is you shooting your normal gun. But I I went to the options and chose auto fire. So, oh man, I couldn't even imagine not having auto fire in this game. Really, the only buttons I'm pressing are, are A and C, controlling the the arc of this weapon. Yeah, I gotta admit, this is actually a pretty cool little game. I, I like shooters. I know. Uh, some of you boys in, in my group here, shmups and stuff like that are not, not your favorite, but I mean, they're just good arcade fun every once in a while. I, I wish there was like a damage indicator to tell me like if what I'm hitting is is even doing any damage to him. Like, am I missing something? I don't see anything flashing when his mouth opens. No. The heat seekers are going down here. Like, should I be shooting these things? Oh, the music's terrible though. Oh, man. I don't know what I'm supposed to be shooting here. Okay, this sucks. I don't know what the hell to do. I like poor player too. He's dead in this scene. He wasn't even in the game. Okay, like how the hell do you beat that? Like that looks like just dragons slaying the city there. Did you find him? Find who? Don't worry, we'll finish him today. Finish who? Like, there's no story to start this off. Just a picture of dragons on a city, and then they're looking for someone. <laughs> I am curious, though, who the hell we're... Who the hell we're looking for? Him. That's him is his name. Oh, the music just... <laughs> I guess the one thing I remember is that the Genesis sound palette just wasn't as good as the Super Nintendo's. I don't know if I want to switch to the Heat Seekers. I think I might keep this. Because then maybe when I'm fighting the dragon, one of those will hit something I need. So I did need this. Yes, health. Health. That. Price goes up every time. Napalm Bomb. Blaze whole ground. How do you do it? Let's maybe this tells me something about the dragon. The weak point of the dust dragon is its heart. <sighs> okay. So at least now we know aim for the heart. So I guess anytime you hit the store, you might as well buy the, the information. You know, uh, so I can see, like, had I rented this back in the day, you know, if, if, if the Genesis had been my choice over the Super Nintendo, and I went to the rental store and picked this up for the weekend, I would have had a good time with this. Plays good, uh, controls well, difficulties just about right. Um, I'd have to see what kind of difficulty settings there are. Like, is it just normal and hard? Is there an easy setting? But it's not bad. I mean, the sound is really its weakest point, um, and it, it's still fine. It's just this would be better with some like rock and music here. I think it would suit it really well. Oh my god, I'm getting my ass handed here. Okay, where's the heart? Is this the heart? That's gotta be the heart, right? Oh man. Okay. Yeah. Is now the heart's exposed? Is that what it is? Oh. Yeah. Ooh, yeah! So it was the heart. Okay. Listen to the info you pay for. Yeah, I think the music is a little out of place for this game. Um, yeah, it just doesn't suit it. <laughs> this needs something more action-packed in, in its music. This sounds like heading into a castle in, a, in an RPG or something. Or a town. Doesn't feel like... Arnold Schwarzenegger flying around with no jetpack, slaughtering aliens. Oh, there's my store. Boom. Alright, what's in this store today? What the heck is that? First, I want health, that's for sure. I'll take the three shots. Lethal optics energy. Ah, I got too greedy with the money. 
Powerful flamethrower. The god of war hates to be attacked on shoulders. Okay. Holy shit. It's turning into a bullet hell. Gotta love the background. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't get over the music. It just does not suit what's happening here. Lots of money. Like, those remind me of, like, Life Force. If you've ever played that shooter on the uh, NES. I'll have to look up and see how many levels this game has. Where I get the boss? Uh, we gotta go for the shoulders, is that what it said? I don't trust the shoulder, right? Man, I still can't get over, like, that's it, you're done. As soon as you lose your life, that's it, you're done. You can buy one. Let's see what the its options are here. Hard, normal, okay, so it's exactly, so satellite speed, okay. Slow or fast, let me see what fast looks like. Man, I still can't, I couldn't even imagine playing it with, uh, with the auto fire off. How do you use that napalm? I can see if this was an arcade game, and I don't know if it ever was an arcade game. Um, it would have been like a controller on the left and like a turn knob, like Arkanoid, on the right to aim where the, where the weapons gotta go. Wow, I feel like I got way less money than I did last time I came in. Well, yeah, I had 6400 I think or something last time. I do like that a little faster, I think that helps you react a little better. I don't know. It's a pretty cool little game. Uh, definitely not what I expected. I think from the box art, I was expecting more of a Contra style game. Uh, like I said earlier, Sega's uh, notorious for their games feeling very arcade like, and this is definitely something I could see being released in the arcade. Oh man, talking away here, not paying attention to really anything I'm doing. Yeah, I'm not really here to try and beat the games or anything. Um, I just want to get an idea of the, of the game, um, the games that are out there, what Sega had to offer, and I'm going to die. Now if this is two players, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, this would be, this would have been a great Couch Co-op game had I rented it and Buddy comes over and we just kind of crushed this all weekend, that would have been awesome. Oh. I feel like the first level of the three so far has been the longest level, actually, and I think the third level has been the shortest. Ooh, I don't remember him ever doing that. Not even the dust dragon can defeat us. I feel like the cutscenes are happening randomly. I don't remember this last time. And I already know the information, so I get to save a hundred bucks. Whoa. That'd be a good weapon on that dragon I just fought. Just plowing into his heart. Definitely a unique shooter. Kind of glad I played this. Got to see it. Uh, otherwise, wouldn't like I said, I've never even heard of this game before. Uh, I don't know um, people who play the Sega Genesis and are, are diehard fans of this system. I, I'm curious what their thoughts on, on a game like this uh, against the rest of their library. Like, is this a hidden gem? Is this a classic? Is this just another shooter on the system? Okay, here we go. Attribution. I'll try one more time on this guy. Shoulders, right? No! Yeah. It is shoulders. <laughs> okay, so this weapon was definitely more key to fighting this boss. Boom. Was he who we were looking for? Did the fiend really die? No doubt about it. The king of all the false gods is in a new realm by now. So they're jumping realms. Aw oh, man, don't have enemies behind bricks. That's annoying. Because then I can't see their bullets. Oh, choose a path. Uh, okay, maybe not. Path chosen for me. Hey, wait, I can't shoot through there, but they can fly through there? That's garbage. 
Oh, come on, get to a store. <gasps> oh, that was close. Man, I don't even have a lot of money. 20 grand? I have to take that. I have to take that. Oh, I'm not left with much here. Game over. Overall, though, I I, I I liked it. Seems like a pretty cool game. Uh, glad I got a chance to finally play uh, play Forgotten Worlds. Okay, so it is two players. That's cool. But yeah, this would have been awesome. Two players, maybe a little kit. That was it. Okay. So we're not gonna get any more story other than guys can fly without jetpacks looking for a dude, and we don't know who that dude is, but probably a bad dude. Anyway, uh, so thanks for checking out Forgotten Worlds with me, and uh, join me next time when we uh, hit up another new Sega Genesis game from 1989. Um, till then, thanks for watching.